If it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration. Yes, it is March the 18th, 2024, and today the topic is unanswered prayers. Happy Monday. Yes, happy Monday, everybody. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Mine was just fine. Yep, mine was good overall. A quick recap over my weekend goes like this. Saturday, I had the house to myself because the men folk went out and did men folk things. So yeah, man, I just uh, stayed home. I relaxed. I didn't sleep as much as I thought I was going to sleep. So I thought I did the juice. I pretty much, pretty much for the most part, I relaxed. I did um, place an order or two, you know, so I got my lunch delivered and um I watched, I guess I binge watched some different shows and then I was also just working on um, sharing about the book and everything like that. As you guys know, I made the announcement about my book, uh, my seventh self-published book last Saturday. So um, that was one thing. Um, My little guy, NJ, he did a video and I made a reel out of the video and whatnot. And the one on Facebook has almost 500 views. So man, uh, to God be the glory, you know what I mean, um, for the favor that's on my son and his life and his presence and things like that. Um, you know, um, I appreciate those. I had a few people reach out to say that they purchased the book. So that is a blessing as well. Um, yeah, man, I can't wait to see the little kiddos with the book. I can't wait to see um, families, um, you know, trying out the recipes and uh, maybe giving feedback about some of the rem- remedies and things of that nature. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go to actressmiraclesims.com and click on the button that says books. And you guys can see my seven self-published books there and uh, much, much more at actressmiraclesims.com. But anyway, so that was Saturday, right? Sunday was good as well. I did end up working, you know, um, working two of the three gatherings um, and actually getting a chance to get a word in. Um, the minister yesterday was Brother RJ. Um, so it was interesting and good to hear what he had to share and say um, in this sermon series. So that was one thing. Um, yesterday was also St. Patrick's Day. So your girl uh, wore probably one of the most obnoxious um, green ensembles for the kiddos and whatnot. And um, I, actually quite a few of the kids got into it and dressed up and whatnot as well. Um, so that was good to see participation in our Sunday fun day activities. It seemed like my idea if I, you know, brush my own shoulders off a little bit, um, my idea to do the, um, St. Patrick's Limbo as the, uh, game seemed to be a good option and choice that they seem to enjoy it and whatnot. So, I mean, you know, I can't complain, man, you know, um, it's truly, truly a blessing to be, um, a part of the ministry at Mountain West. So yeah, that was my weekend in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and get into this conversation because yes, it's Monday morning and everything like that. And so yeah, man, um, let's take a little time to see what the Lord wanted to share through me about unanswered prayers. So how did I get to today's conversation? I mean, there could be a lot of things that led me to this topic. I mean, again, I shared with you guys about the video. I watched uh, Brother Kanye, you know, um, sharing about how I guess he got a problem with Jesus because he hasn't answered his prayers and things of that nature so I'm sure that's part of the inspiration um also I guess just observations in my own life about you know myself and others you know I think all of us have at one time or another felt like man Lord you're not answering my prayers or I don't see what I desire or any of those phrases that we could you know put in this 
blank to to I guess uh, help us understand like this feeling again I think majority of us have felt this at one time in our life or another now as a believer and as where I am today in my life I understand that if something is not answered right now that it perhaps may just not be the time but that doesn't mean that uh, the prayer won't get answered one of these old days. So um, that encourages me and inspires me to keep going, um, especially with things of the Lord and um, things like that. Like, for example, you know, I've been praying to get a venue again, you know, um, but I'm not worried about it. You know, uh, I know that whenever that time comes, I will have a venue again. Um, and even if the Lord don't allow me to have a venue again, that's still all right, you know, um, because at the end of the day, I can I can see him building um, a strong foundation. Um, I guess you would say a virtual venue, if you will. And so, I mean, if that's the venue that I'm supposed to have instead of the physical one, I mean, to God be the glory. You know what I mean? Um, I'm okay with that. And I think that's part of the thing. We got to learn how to be okay with God's will, way, plan. Uh, for us in our lives, but um, again, for anybody that may be, you know, saying like, man, you know, I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I, I am not seeing the answer or I'm not getting uh, what I'm praying for and things of that nature. There could be uh, quite a few things um, as the reason why. Now, I know my my son, he, he you know, he, I always use him in that, as an example every now and then, and I'm reminded that yesterday when he came up for prayer, he once again prayed for a dog. Now, the thing is, again, he don't know what, but he's listening to me right now, so he probably gonna find out. But his his father wanted him to have a dog from birth, so it's very interesting the fact that he wants a dog, um, so so much right now. And he may be wondering, like, I done prayed to Jesus so many times about me getting a dog, and I still don't have one. Um, but again, there could be so many reasons why he hasn't, quote unquote, received the dog, right? Right now, it might not be the best time for us as a family to get a dog, you know, and add uh, an extra mouth on and on top of the three mouths that are currently in our household, you know, uh, or again, you know, uh, perhaps again with NJ being very young and, you know, uh, right now not really picking up after himself so well like I mean it, it's going to be his dog at the end of the day and so he's going to have to take care of the dog and so you know maybe he needs to wait until he's actually in a place to understand that hey you know uh you have to take care of this dog x y and z so again um God could be looking at us the same way you know maybe it's just not time I know that's another example but just reiterating that and perhaps it's just not the right timing but for those that um, say you've been praying for years for something, right? Say you've been desiring something for years, whatever the case may be, there are some things beyond just it not being the right time and stuff like that, that could be the reason why you're, uh, you are experiencing unanswered prayers. So here go some verses that were standing out to me this morning to share. James 4 and 3, it says, you ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions so again um not only could it not be the time but you could be asking for the wrong thing like again um if you are asking for a married man <laughs> then then you asking for your own passions that that is not the will of the lord now sure some people get those desires um and things of that nature but that does not mean um that that situation is blessed and things like that um we can see again many biblical figures that crossed the line and desire things that did not belong to them and we see how that pe uh, panned out um when it comes to that but anyway um i mean i, I was kind of reminded as i was sitting here chatting about this in this moment about um and again i guess i said but anyway because i don't i'm not sure so i, I guess i need to do a little bit more historical studying in regards to this but I'm reminded of, for example, uh, was it Sarah and Abraham? Um, could be, or at least it's the older gentleman that, uh, you know, God promised to give him nations and children and things like that. And his wife was barren for all those years. And so his wife encouraged him to, I guess, you know, um, 
have relations with their servant and whatnot. And um, although they conceived, um, this was not the overall plan and will of the Lord. And so it seems to me that the nation in conflict, and again, I could be wrong. So I would stand corrected if I, you know, if anybody comes in and be like, oh, you got this wrong. But my understanding is that the Palestine and Israel um, debate and fight is between these two bloodlines, um, these this family that has been, um, not say separate family, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like from the these two family bloodlines um, is what this this conflict is still going on about today. Now again, I gotta go do my research on that, but that's just an example again of things being out of the will of the Lord. I mean, obviously, we know that David is an example of this as well. I mean, he was looking down at Bathsheba, you know, and I don't know why she was taking a bath in a place where he should be able to see outside. Maybe she was swimming and they called it a bath. I don't know. But whatever it was, um, he saw her, he wanted her, she married, you know, all these things. And so, again, another example of asking for things that you or you're asking wrongly for things that, you know, either aren't yours, you want for your own passions, things of that nature. So that could be one of the reasons why your prayers aren't being answered. Now, this next one is geared towards husbands, but hey, man, um, I would say even this might be for wives as well. Um, and this is what it says. It's First Peter 3 and 7. It says, likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel, since they are heirs with you of the grace of life so that your prayers may not be hindered. Uh, perhaps your prayers are being hindered because you're not treating your spouse correctly. Um, you know, I would say husbands and wives, even though this is geared towards the husbands. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you are out of order, not treating your spouse correctly, perhaps God is not answering uh, your prayers, you know, again, I got to humble myself to say, okay, you know, am I uh, being the best wife possible? Um, things of that nature, you know, and so um, husbands should do the same. Um, I believe that, again, their relationship with the Lord, as well as their relationship with their wife, uh, plays a huge part on their prayers being answered. Um, and so that's just something to think about. Let's keep going. Here's another example um, in Psalm 66 and 18, it says, if I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. So, I mean, if you hold an iniquity in your heart, if unforgiveness, things of that nature, then perhaps this is another reason why your prayers are, are not being answered. Uh, perhaps you need to go forgive your brother or not hold on to the iniquity, things of that nature, confess your own sins things like that. Um, all of these things, again, can be playing a part in your unanswered prayers. I got one more verse, y'all, and it's John 15 and 7. It says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you want and it will be done for you. Friends, I mean, there you go. You have to be in alignment, abiding in the Lord um, and his word and things of that nature. Now, you might not get it when you want it, right? But as the song say, it will be right on time. And so, yeah, I mean, these are just things to consider and think about. Um, you know, again, I hope that these things encourage you and inspire you if you are in the place where you feel like, man, my prayers are not being answered. Um, if this is something you need to go deeper about, feel free to check out any of the verses in the Go Deeper section. There's plenty to peruse and let marinate on your heart, souls, and minds. You can even go deeper yourself and just go to openbible.info and plug in unanswered prayers. I'm sure there's plenty of verses that will come up um, that you guys can, again, peruse and let marinate. Here's another uh, thing that's at gotquestions.org. It's an article that you guys can check out. If you are in this place, and it's called, how sh should a Christian respond to unanswered prayers? If you call yourself a Christian, a Bible-believing person, then check out this um, article. Hopefully, it will encourage you and inspire you about this. But yeah, the Bible verse of today, friends, is Acts 10 and 43. It says, to him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love.
of your daily dose of inspiration and juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around whatever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there. Check out the options. Consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show. But we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.